Okay, welcome to a course on creating a .NET Nuke skin using Bootstrap 3. In this video one that we're doing now, uh, we are going to create a working bare bones .NET Nuke skin. We're going to take a look at what matrix we'll download and install Bootstrap 3, and we will create our skin page. Videos two will uh, we will install the Bootstrap main top nav. Top navigation video number three will create some panes and video number four will create some containers so I'm going to be building this on localhost and I'm using web matrix uh, you could do this on your website if you want but if you want to uh, do it on your local machine you can go to uh, dnnsoftware.com scroll down look for the big button that says download the free DNN platform And then scroll down, download the one web matrix that has everything you need to get up and running. Just go through the wizard and install that. So, but that's what I'll be doing. I'll be doing mine on localhost. Second thing we'll want to do is go to getbootstrap.com, and we're going to want to download Bootstrap. The reason why we're using Bootstrap is that it's become it's a very popular responsive framework for building websites on. And it's it's got it's more than just responsive. It has a whole lot of built-in things such as modals, uh, sliders, uh, various styling for navigation, pills, thing, things like that. You can see the different things that that you could do with this by just clicking on the CSS button, the components button, and the JavaScript button. We're not going to get into all that right now. What we do want to do is we want to download Bootstrap, and then click download Bootstrap again. And save as and I've already got it saved so I'm not going to save it again but save it somewhere on your computer and then once you have it downloaded we need to go find it and you need to find where uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at where we're going to unload or uh, extract the bootstrap files to now I happen to know that on mine I'm going to go to where my new uh, DNN installations at I'm going to go to portals default skins I'm going to extract it straight to my skins folder so let me go back and find that new DNN install we're going to portals default and skins and I'm just going to extract it there and make sure that's ticked show extract files when complete okay first thing I want to do is I'm going to rename this so I'm just going to call mine new DNN skin and you'll notice this green mine is anyway it's encrypted if yours is encrypted we need to we need to go ahead and unencrypt that so uh, right click find properties go to your advanced tab untick encrypt contents to secure data and click OK click a pop apply make sure apply changes this folder and subfolders are checked click OK and let it do its thing and take a minute and click OK and we'll see in here that it's put in all your bootstrap CSS some fonts that uh, glyphcons that come with it and some bootstrap uh, JavaScript that will get the modal and the slider that's built in that comes with it working so it we have we now have where we want to build our skin at so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get our text editor what whatever editor you decide you want want to use I'm using Visual Studio Express 2013 for web it's free and uh, you can google that and their Express 2013 Express for web is free so if you want to follow along like I'm doing go ahead and download and install that but anyhow I'm gonna go to open website and I've already drilled all the way down to my DNN skin, my new my new DNN skin. 
and I'm just going to open that because that's all we're working with. I don't need the entire website to show up. And you'll see it shows up in Solution Explorer. If you don't see Solution Explorer, go to View, Other Windows, and click on Solution Explorer to make, to make sure you have it come up. So now that we have our new site opened up to our skin uh, file, we're going to go ahead and create by right. We're going to create us a skin file by right uh, right clicking, going down to Add, Add New Item, and we want HTML page. We're going to take out default info there, and we're going to type in D A U L T default dot A S C X. Now let me stop here. If you're using like Dreamweaver or Notepad or whatever, you can create these .html. That's fine. A bootstrap will automatically convert your HTML pages to .ascx. I go ahead and create them .ascx here in uh, Visual Studio because we're able to, number one. And number two, when you're working on your site and you're having to go in and edit HTML pages, have DNN recreate those pages to .ascx. You have that delay there, so you're not seeing your updates in real time. Whereas if you just go ahead and build them in ASCX, you're going to be able to view your updates in real time. So that's what we're going to do there. And I got a code snippet here. We're going to first take out all this code, all the default markup. And I have a code snippet here. You will be able to get this code snippet at my website. But this is the minimum that is required to create a skin. So I'm going to put this in here. And right here, we have enough. We have the control language, C sharp, and this information here. And content pane is always required in any skin. You need a content pane. So that's it. That's all that's required. I've saved that. Let's go to the website. Uh, this is the website I got here. I created a test page. And I'm going to go to page appearance. advanced settings and I want to go and see if I can find my new uh, page skin which should be a uh, new DNN skin right there it is new DNN skin we'll update the page and there's our new skin you see uh, .NET new automatically inserts an HTML container to your content page on everything so we're just going to go in there and we'll add a little stuff to make sure it works I got a little stuff right here that I want to put in and there we have a working container I mean a working uh, skin page excuse me and that is really all there is to creating and getting up and running with making a page page skin for .NET new now we're gonna get a little more advanced to that in the next videos uh, we're gonna add a menu that will respond well to screen sizes and then eventually we'll get to create some panes and then create some containers so stay tuned for the next videos and you can get all kinds of video tutorials at my website at www.skeeterz71.com ranging from everything from photoshop to illustrator to dreamweaver to wordpress to dotnet nuke css html and a whole lot more have a good day